welcome um, Matt and Evan. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, Evan, I wanted to start by asking you, what led you to Matt and his story? Um, I actually saw Matt on a reality show called The Ultimate Fighter, which is on Spike about five years ago. And I grew up wrestling, and I just immediately saw, saw him, and I was inspired by his story. And, and, uh, and then I pitched my partner, Joseph McAleer, on, you know, uh, you know, contacting Matt, and Matt was receptive to it, and we actually met him at uh, California uh, School for the Deaf in Riverside, or actually in Fremont. And what was interesting about that is it's a K-12 through school, which is uh, all deaf faculty, deaf students. And so not only did we get a chance to meet Matt and get his full story, but we had a chance to kind of be acclimated to the deaf culture, which was a big part of the story. Um, and that kind of started the journey with writing, and after about maybe 75 uh, rewrites and with Matt's help and Matt's family's help, we finally got uh, the script to a point where we were uh, all happy with it and, and now it's finally uh, getting a chance to get out there. It's a lovely community, it's lovely, it's the heart of my blood. And I mean, I, I mean, my grandfather always tells me, never forget where you're from. So, to hear from now, so, I mean, I want to show where I am and go way beyond. And there's, there's a big fight coming up, May 20th. Yeah, so I have, I have one fight away from the title. You know, oh, wow. So I just got it from my grandfather's wing. That's so great. So believe it. It's all you have to do is believe it. That's great. Is that for you? Right. Oh, so then you have to They're going to watch the train. Then they're going to do interviews with us after. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Ohio! gym in town I, it got to me very quickly and um, I got to meet him in the bar one night and I said Matt you know I got a gym you ever want to come over we'll, we'll train he's like oh yeah 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 that's great so he showed him my gym and um, bounced me off every wall in there and I was like okay this guy's going somewhere and and here we are six years later he's a superstar athlete he's uh he's one of a kind he's a he's a, he's a bad individual but underneath all that is the warmest kindest friendliest good-hearted person you're ever going to meet so I could not be prouder to stand here with him and be here with all of you when you see this amazing, amazing film. So, with that being said, I want to introduce the main man himself, Matt Hamill. I was born and raised in Lovelace, it's just amazing. But uh, there's a lot of people asking me how I got involved in the movie. It's what happened is uh, Evan and Joe, they both um, tried to um, invite me over to Fremont, California. But how they find out, they saw me on the UFC reality show. I was also on the show for the fighting. Oh, this is Death Fighting. I want to make a move about him. <laughs> <laughs> now, look what happened. This is really awesome opportunity. So, I, mean, I would love to tell you more detail, but I have to cut it in the shop. So, you could have enjoyed that movie. So, this could be a great experience. And thank you for coming. Thank you so much. <laughs> Be 
beautiful. It's she matched grandmother's hair, this family, first time seeing the film. Wow, you can see their reaction is they it's a beautiful touching heart moment at this point. Even myself. And, yeah. oh, second thing, in the light case. Thanks, I'm getting through the light case. I love the film. I, it was very much of a tearjerker to me because I helped babysit with Matt from the time he was little, and you know, saw all the things he went through, the tough things that he had to put up with, kids making fun of him. And, you know, he just. Uh, he has done just wonderful. He's just a wonderful person. Yes. What else to say about him except how much I love him? But the movie is it's wonderful. It's a tribute to him. And uh, and of course I love the way he always loved my husband. And I think he he did do a lot for Matt to keep him you know thinking right. Right. I loved it, it was great. <laughs> yes, I thought it was wonderful. And I thought he was a different kind of sexy. <laughs> it was phenomenal, I told everybody about it right away. I laughed, I cried, everybody should go see it. We well, loved it. I loved the film, I loved the characters, and I loved the intensity with the grandfather and Matt. That was great, absolutely wonderful. I loved it. I loved the school for the deaf, too. <laughs> Love the film, it's wonderful. It had everything. It had a love interest, it had a true life story, it had sports and drama with drama. I mean, can you get anything else? A feel good story. Are you kidding me? You're ripping into the whole movie. It's a winner. Here we are, Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland International Film Festival. But the real story of the day is that Dave McLean, star of Hamill, it's actually here. He's in town. He's available for autographs later on. Pictures, you know, if, if you're lucky enough to catch him. Wow. Uh, you know, otherwise, you have to see him on the screen. So only, only the big touch screen. Him. I hear he's staying at the Ritz Carlton, though. Huh? Uh, you know, all the, all the big timers at the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> Bruno Tosses and myself were in the steerage class over at the Renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> I. <Ow! laughs>